Pladiosaurus and Other Desert Dinosaurs by Dougal Dixon Illustrated by Steve Weston and James Field Life in the Desert Dinosaurs lived between 230 million and 65 million years ago. The world did not look the same then. The land and seas were not in the same places. Deserts covered much of the land. It was difficult for animals to live in deserts. There was not much water or food for them. Dinosaurs would search the sand dunes for plants to eat. They would race across the sand, hunting for other dinosaurs, plants, or insects. Other animals, such as lizards and little mammals, lived there too. Carcharodontosaurus Carcharodontosaurus was one of the biggest meat-eating dinosaurs. Its sharp teeth could slice easily through its dinosaur meal. Its jaws were big enough to swallow an animal whole. Sharp teeth and big jaws today. Tigers are large, fierce hunters, like the Carcharodontosaurus was long ago. A Carcharodontosaurus prowled across the desert, snapping its big teeth. Coelophysis. Coelophysis hunted in groups. They would all jump on a big animal. They killed with many slashes and bites. In times of drought, food was hard to find. They may have eaten one another just to live. Gathering to drink today. Antelope gather around water holes in dry weather, like Coelophysis did millions of years ago. Some Coelophysis would fight each other for the last bit of water in a water hole. Uranosaurus. Uranosaurus could walk on all fours or on its back legs. It had a big fin that may have been very colorful. It used its fin to signal to other Uranosaurus in the area. Attractive colors today. The peacock has a colorful tail, like Uranosaurus did long ago. An Aranosaurus stood alone in the open desert. Maybe another would see its striped fin and come over. Oviraptor. Oviraptor's only teeth were a pair in the roof of its mouth. It had a bird-like beak and a crest on its head. An adult Oviraptor looked after the eggs in their nests. Many enemies would have wanted to steal the eggs. A nest today. An ostrich makes a nest to store its eggs, just like Oviraptor did. A mother Oviraptor would sit on her nest to keep her eggs warm. She would look out across the desert for enemies. Pladiosaurus. Pladiosaurus herds could have gone for days without eating. When they found trees, they stood on their back legs to reach high branches. They pulled down branches with their thumb claws. Hungry and thirsty today. Camels cross wide deserts like Pladiosaurus did. They can go for days without food or water. A herd of Pladiosaurus walked across the desert looking for water and food. Protoceratops. The sandy color of a protoceratops helped them hide in the desert. They had sharp beaks and strong jaws. These helped to cut and chew the tough desert plants. Moving as a herd today. Zebras live in herds and survive in dry areas like protoceratops did long ago. A herd of protoceratops wandered through the desert. They would search the sand for small plants to eat. Shuvuia. Shuvuia had two tiny arms, each with only one claw. It used the claw for digging in the dry ground. When Shuvuia found worms or insects, snap! It gulped them up in its long, narrow jaws. Using claws today. 
monitor lizards use their claws to find prey, like Shibuya did. They also use them to climb. With its covering of feathers, a Shibuya looked like a bird. It even scratched the ground, like some birds do. Velociraptor. Velociraptor ran quickly, catching plant eaters by surprise. It had a huge killing claw on its back foot. Velociraptor was covered in feathers like a bird. It looked similar to the Shibuya. The chase today. Cheetahs chase their prey at high speed, like Velociraptor did millions of years ago. A Velociraptor would hunt in the sand dunes and rocks. It would wait for the chance to attack an unsuspecting dinosaur.